What is up guys? Welcome to another wrestling video and today we are going to be going to Money in the Bank and so I am just on the way over to my fiance's house as of yesterday. We got engaged yesterday so this is kind of a celebration trip. Um, yeah, I'm on my way to my fiance's house uh, to pick her up and, and start the trip um, and I'm wearing the Alexa Bliss uh, play in pain shirt that I that I got yesterday and also the fiend hat which you guys are used to seeing so and uh Lacey's gonna be wearing the Bailey ding dong hello shirt which was pretty fun she picked that one out out of my collection and, and of course it's that's a great shirt so yeah let's go pick Lacey up and uh see you guys then Lacey's here <laughs> all right so we've picked up Lacey we're about to go get some coffee because this drive is going to be insane. So yeah. All right, so we are about to be on the way. We just got Starbucks. <laughs> so it's, a, I just got a venti black coffee because I'm like really an old man. Lacey, what did you get? A caramel macchiato with yeah. coconut milk. There you go. Yeah, sorry I'm framing this really poorly, but I'm driving, which is more important. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're just about to be on the way to Fort Worth. We've got a couple YouTube videos that we're planning on listening to, so. Yeah, we'll see uh, if uh, anything interesting comes up. All right, so we are making our first stop. Uh, we're in Oklahoma currently, but um, I just thought it might be a decent time because uh, uh, my fiance's out. <laughs> that might be a decent time to talk about maybe what to expect. I'm personally, again, hoping that Alexa wins Money in the Bank, but I doubt it. I think... Uh, to me, I think the favorite will be Liv Morgan. Um, I, I think that would be pretty cool to see her uh, end up taking the briefcase. Um, I think she's someone who deserves a push. Um, it w Zelina Vega wouldn't surprise me. Um, really, it, it could go e either way. I think Alexa and Liv um, seem like the favorites. Um, for the men's match, it's hard to say. I just feel like Seth Rollins is going to take it. Like... I, I think I, I'm aching to see another Seth Rollins championship. So I, I, I'd probably be rooting for him uh, in that one. Um, Roman Reigns and Edge, hard to tell. Um, the easy pick is just to say, yeah, Roman Reigns. But it would not surprise me if Seth wins the money in the bank. Edge wins Universal. And Seth comes and cashes in on Edge at the end of the night. So that, that would not surprise me whatsoever. Um, Bobby Lashley, obviously probably going to retain against Kofi Kingston. Um, yeah, so, um, I, I'm probably missing a match or two here or there, but, um, yeah, it should, it should be really, really exciting. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing it. And I've heard there's going to be returns. I'll be really upset if it's Goldberg. I'm so tired of that guy. He just needs to retire. I'm so done with him. Like, I don't know what your guys' opinions on Goldberg is, but I'm tired of them inserting him into everything. Um, he's, I don't think he's a draw either. I don't know. He's just boring. Boring. Um, but if there is a Lesnar or Becky Lynch or John Cena, oh, please be a John Cena return. I am going to pop. I'm going to pop so hard. So, um, yeah, hopefully we see all those things. Um, but I, I, I want, above all, I'm hoping to see a Cena return. That would be freaking awesome. So, but yeah, hopefully, I, I'm sure it'll be a great show just because there's a crowd there and just because I, I know WWE is probably going to try and make everything the best it possibly can now that fans are back for the first pay-per-view that fans are back. So, um, yeah, I... I'm so, so, so excited, and it's going to be a relatively small crowd. The uh, the SmackDown was 14,000, and this arena only holds 14,000, so I'm assuming it might be less than that, so we'll see, um, but yeah, should be pretty great, and uh, I'll see you guys probably at our next stop or whenever uh, whenever I find time to vlog again. What? 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 Okay, fine. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so we are in Fort Worth. Finally, we're at In-N-Out. I uh, haven't gotten food yet, but we got food. Um, so we, we actually saw uh, a couple people wearing wrestling shirts. There was a guy wearing an Aleister Black shirt, which was honestly kind of funny. And someone wearing uh, 64, not us. Uh, a guy wearing an Aleister Black shirt, a Matt Hardy shirt, which I thought was funny. But um, we actually saw some crew members here, which is interesting. So, um, it's kind of crazy to think that they're already getting ready for this. You know, obviously they are, but uh, it was really cool to see some of the crew here. And yeah, so I think we're gonna be hitting up a coffee shop and we'll see what goes from there. So let's go in and out. Right, so we are done at in and out We're gonna go to a coffee shop next, but I had in and out at like the D tier of fast food. Cause I've had like in and out once and I just wasn't like super impressed by it. I remember I thought like the burgers tasted really cheap and and the, I think the mistake I made was getting plain fries. Cause the plain fries just, they taste really bland and they don't really taste like anything. So I got animal fries this time and they were so good. And the burger tasted a bit better. Maybe I went to the wrong one. Um, maybe I went to the wrong one uh, last time, but no, the, I, I'm moving it up to the B tier where I think it belongs. Um, I think it's any, I think it could be in the C tier. I wouldn't doubt anyone for saying that, but I think the B tier is where it belongs. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop next called Trinity Coffee, I think. Yeah. So yeah, see you guys there. All right, here we are at Trinity Coffee House. This is a pretty cool place. It's a very vintage building. You have this cool little mural behind. And wow, this is, this is a cool, um, cool coffee house we uh i got they have something called and it's always sunny it had mexican coca-cola cherry whip cold brew and cold brew i think i was like that's that sounded pretty cool uh so what'd you get lacy i just got a vanilla latte vanilla latte yeah that's what I get that's what always get. <laughs> so but uh yeah this this building is just so cool i'm gonna walk around a little bit <laughs> Super cool building, but yeah, so it's nice because in and out was so crowded and now this, you know, get some time to have space for ourselves. Look, there's no one at these tables, so it's nice to have some space. So yeah, I think we're, there's actually a vintage mall down uh, across the street. So I think we're going to go there next. So yeah, we'll see you guys there. into an Urban Outfitters. Well, it might not be like super fun for like most people. We don't have one of these in uh, Wichita where we live. So uh, 
I don't know. Urban Outfitters is kind of like a cool thing for us yeah. Kansas people. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out. We're about to walk in. That Urban Outfitters was a tiny bit disappointing. There wasn't really a whole lot there. Um, it was definitely one of the smaller Urban Outfitters. Yeah. But, um, and, and they, it was like 90% women's clothes too. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I didn't really see anything that I like needed to have. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we're just gonna look around for more places. Like we didn't really plan to go anywhere <laughs> other than In-N-Out and this <laughs> coffee shop. So we're just kind of looking. The, the vintage uh, shop was really cool. Yeah, was cool. Um, it was cool looking through there. Like there were some cool shirts and everything um, that I would have bought, but it was kind of like expensive. Like it was still like $20. So I was like, that's a bit more than I'd be willing to spend on vintage shirts. But there was also a lot of trash. Like there's some guy who put like an empty Coke can uh, on, on the shelf there. But um, but yeah, so still really cool, really cool place. Yeah. And, we're, and we're just, we're honestly just kind of searching now because we've got about like two hours until we want to be at the parking lot. So, but yeah, we'll, uh, We'll catch you in the next place. All right, so we're finally here uh, at Money in the Bank. We, we got here relatively early because we weren't sure if we were gonna find a parking space, but we did, thankfully. And uh, there's already people like walking up there and it's like, 40 minutes to doors and it's currently 98 degrees on my uh on my console so i'm not trying to wait that long so um yeah we're just we're literally just gonna chill here um until until probably five o'clock um i'm just glad that we got a parking space quite honestly and i don't know what these people are doing like uh i'm assuming they they're just walking up to wait in line because um like the past WWE shows I've been to, all you do is just walk up there and you wait in line. Like, I don't think there's anything to do besides just walk up there. So, um, with the person though at the parking said there've been people all day. I wonder if there was some kind of meet and greet, but I figured they might not be doing that because of COVID. But, um, a couple of places we did go that I didn't really get any, uh, footage of was, um, uh, the pawn shop. But it was like 80% tools, so it wasn't really anything too exciting. No. <laughs> then we went to... Then we went to a quick trip uh, just to, you know, buy water and stuff like that. And then there was this really cool looking Target that had like this kind of Texas building. We want to go in to see if Target was any different. It wasn't. So, um, but now, uh, yeah, we're just going to chill in this car. I don't know why people are walking up. I don't know especially people that are in because we're in disabled parking right now and i'm not really sure um how any like maybe they just don't maybe they have high heat tolerance but i'm not trying to wait in line <laughs> for 40 minutes in the 98 degree weather that seems a bit ridiculous so uh yeah well uh once we get in line we'll uh we'll start vlogging again and uh probably say hi to some people in line so see you guys there well holy cow we're here in line and it started raining and uh there's quite a bit of people as you guys can see, quite a bit of people. But <laughs> you guys, hey, I, I got a wrestling YouTube channel. If you guys want to say hey, hi, <laughs> hey, you who's, who's your guy? Who's your favorite? Oh man, Finn Balor, all the Finn way. Finn Balor, yeah, yeah. is he gonna is he gonna wrestle tonight? I don't know, yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty yeah, sweet yeah, comeback. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, hopefully uh, this rain stops here pretty soon. They should be opening the doors in like I think maybe five to ten minutes. So uh, yeah, should be pretty sick. You know why Roman's why is, gonna win? Why is Roman winning tonight? Because he's the greatest wrestler of all time. Of all time? Of all time. Undertaker? Undertaker. Ric Flair? Ric Flair. The Rock? The Rock. Oh! That's what we want. Roman Reigns tonight. Roman Reigns, baby. Who's, who's winning money in the bank? 
Who's, who's winning men's Money in the Bank? I think Seth Rollins is going to win, Rollins. but I want Big E. I want Got Big you. E. Who do you guys think? I'm going to go with Rollins. I'm going Rollins. 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 No Big E love? Big, Big e? e? I was about to say. Big E. Big e. Big e. Big e. Big e. What about women's? Who's winning women's? Liv. Who? Liv. Liv. Liv? Liv. I like the Liv yeah, pick. Yeah, I think she's going to win. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Are we going to see Cena? Are we going to see Cena? We never see Cena. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Right. Who y'all got? Roman or Edge? Roman or Edge? 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 Roman or Edge? Who you got? Roman or Edge? Roman. 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 Edge? Is it going to be Edge tonight? Roman. Oh man, bold pick. Roman or Edge? Who you all got? Roman or Edge? Edge. Roman. Roman or Edge, guys? Edge. Let's go. Roman or Edge? Edge. Let's go. What is up, guys? We are in our seats. Uh, dude, this this arena is looking sick. I'm so excited. Uh, you just heard from a couple a uh, couple people in the. Um, uh, in the lobby, as asking who's going to win between Roman and Edge. A lot of people want Edge to win, but I'm not. I'm not sure he is. Of course, I hope he does, but uh, we'll we'll see what happens. But uh, Lacey's got her smoked turkey sandwich. Um, I got a I got a new shirt. Um, I got this. It's like a Tex. It's like the Money in the Bank briefcase, but it's like the the Texas flag, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and like typically, I want like. They have those souvenir cups, but they and I get those every single time, but they didn't. So it's it's whatever. But uh, yeah, we'll just see what ends up happening. And look at that stage. We have a perfect view, like straight on with the ring. I'm I'm loving it. crap John Cena returned and oh my gosh he got the biggest pop of all time guys that was so cool to witness in person I'm a little sweaty <coughs> oh my gosh my voice is going because I was cheering so much so as I've said on the channel before I was a huge Cena mark when I was like in middle school uh, so to see this actually happen was insane and to be at the event that it happens was insane. And oh man, I'm just I, I can't believe that. I, I can't believe it. They didn't they didn't let me record anything um, <clears throat> in the arena. But once uh, once we get back to the car, I'll kind of my phone's really low on battery. So once we get back to the car, uh, we'll go over some of the matches and and the cool stuff that happens. So see you guys there. What is up guys? We are back in the car. Um, it looks like it's gonna take us a little bit to get out of here and we got a quite a bit of quite a bit of a drive ahead of us. It's probably gonna be about five and a half hours so it looks like we'll probably get back at like 4 a.m <laughs> but I think it was worth it. Um, so and you can tell my voice is kind of gone so we'll see what happens but um, <clears throat> Just want to talk about some of the matches. We'll recap some of the matches. Um, early on, the Mysterios um, went against the Usos. And so, by the way, they didn't let me record in the uh, um, in the arena. So, I have a couple pictures, but I only realized I could start taking pictures at some point <laughs> in the event. But, um, yeah, Usos versus Mysterios was pretty good. Ended in a roll-up dirty finish. Um... It was a pretty good match. The crowd was like super energized. Um, I, yeah, I don't think I'm getting out of here. <laughs> but um, uh, so yeah, that was awesome. Uh, it, it was a good match overall. They started with the women's match, which Nikki Ash won, which was an interesting pick. Like I'm not super against it, but I mean, <laughs> comic relief characters winning uh, the Money in the Bank match has now happened twice in a row. Um, Otis last year and Nikki Ash this year. So I guess I'm curious to see where it goes. I mean, is Nikki really going to be the the women's champion? 
with that superhero gimmick, I guess we'll see. But then, um, oh, it was uh, AJ Styles versus Omos. And it was kind of interesting because AJ and Omos were getting far more pops and the crowd was way more friendlier to AJ than the Viking Raiders. Um, but, uh, so that was super interesting. But I mean, AJ won, we knew that was gonna happen. Um, and then after that, I believe was the WWE Championship match. Uh, Bobby squash Kofi like it wasn't even close um, but I guess that's kind of what needed to happen like I'm not really surprised by that um, and then after it was Rhea versus Charlotte and Charlotte won for some reason like why why she needed to win I have no idea but it just happened and Charlotte wins championships in the WWE may, way more than really anyone should and that's just how it works um, and then I believe it was the men's money in the bank and Biggie won that. And there were some insane spots in that. That was a sick match. Um, but that was a great match. And I was so happy that Biggie won. He was super deserving. Um, <clears throat> and I'm excited because I believe he's on SmackDown. So I'm curious to see who he ends up cashing in against. Um, and then finally we have Roman versus Edge. And, oh my gosh, Roman cannot win a match clean. He cannot win a single match clean. And I'm honestly getting tired of it. Like, I understand that he's a heel and everything, but he has to win a title clean for me to accept it at some point. Like, I, I need to see him win a title match fair and square for me to be fully bought in. I think he's doing a great job, but I need to see him win a title match fair and square. And then obviously, we got to see John Cena come back at the end. I was wondering it was going to happen. I had seen some rumors saying it was going to happen on SmackDown next Friday, which is, I was super sad about it. I was like, man, that sucks. But oh my gosh, it actually happened. And oh, I was going so crazy. I was popping like crazy. Um, I might post the video and it'll probably get copyrighted, but I feel like it's worth it. Um, We'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, I'll at least, at the very least, post the video of what he said uh, after Money in the Bank went off air. Um, so that will be coming soon after this video. But oh my gosh, obviously we're going to see John Cena versus Roman Reigns um, uh, at, at SummerSlam. And maybe that's when Roman Reigns finally wins a clean match. Because I don't see Cena winning that. Like, I don't see Cena winning the title. Like, how's that going to work? Um, but, um, because, like, he has to, he's gone for a show in, like, a month. So, how is that supposed to work? But still, it's going to be really cool. I hope, I hope to see him wrestle again here in, like, a, um, look at this lighting. My lighting is so stupid right now. Yeah, so I guess we'll see what happens. I'm just glad that he's back for at least a little bit and that I got to see him live because as I've said before, huge scene of Mark when I was in middle school and it was just so cool to see him again. Um, yeah, it was sick. It was so awesome. So that is really all I've got to say. And I did mention the shirt I got. I, um, I was hoping when I went out that they might have the new Cena shirts, but they didn't. Um, so I'll be getting that soon. Um, but yeah, sick sick pay-per-view and we got what a burger we're gonna have what a burger for the first time or well, i'm having it for the first time it's the first time Lacey's had it since how old are you probably 10 probably 10 okay so i'm curious we'll see we'll see what happens i don't know what to what to think <laughs> i've heard it's like brahms which i don't know if all of you guys have had brahms before but i don't know we'll see what is up guys obviously um <laughs> i'm not in the car anymore and my voice is super tired because i was going crazy for cena but um yeah, my camera app crashed, so uh, I, I just wanted to finish off what I was saying. Um, <clears throat> yeah, awesome pay-per-view, but uh, I'm, I'm so glad that you guys joined us for it. I hope to make more of these videos in the future when I go to other events. I'm not sure how many more, more I'm going to go to, but hopefully more soon. So uh, yeah, I love you guys. You guys rock please hit that subscribe button so we can make 500 by the end of the year which has been our goal all along so i will see you guys in the next video peace